Welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the world of wildlife. And today we're covering one of America's most iconic and feared reptiles. And that is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. This massive pit viper isn't only the largest rattlesnake species in the world, but it's also one of the most venomous. So let's break down everything you need to know about this incredible predator. From its biology, to its behavior, to its habitat and its conservation status. So the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake belongs to the Viperidae family, which includes all of her vipers and pit vipers. Specifically, it falls under the genus Crotalus, and that's characterized by the distinctive rattles. The Eastern Diamondback can grow up to eight feet long, with the average size around five to six feet. Adults typically weigh between five to 10 pounds, though some of these snakes can exceed 15. This snake gets its name from its distinctive diamond-shaped pattern running along its back, typically in shades of dark brown, black, and outline in light tan or yellow. The overall coloration helps it blend into the scrubby and forested environment it inhabits. The most defining feature, of course, is its rattle, which is made of keratin and serves as a warning signal to predators and humans alike. Contrary to popular belief, the rattle doesn't tell the snake's age, but as a segment, is added each time it sheds its skin. The Eastern Diamondback is native to the southeastern U.S., primarily found in the coastal plains, and its range extends from North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, and to the west to Alabama, Mississippi, and parts of Louisiana. It thrives in a variety of environments, including your pine flatwoods, dry forests, coastal sand dunes, and palmetto scrublands. These habitats provide cover and hunting grounds for the snake, which primarily relies on camouflage to ambush prey. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake is largely solitary and terrestrial. Though it has been observed swimming between islands and coastal areas, it's primarily crepuscular, meaning active at dawn and dusk, but also can be active during the day or night depending on environmental conditions. This species is an ambush predator, and it often lies motionless, camouflaging leaves or underbrush, waiting for unsuspected prey to come close. Thanks to its heat sensing pits located between its eyes and nostrils, it can detect the infrared radiation emitted by warm blooded animals. The primary diet of the Eastern Diamondback includes small mammals like rabbits, squirrels, and rats, but it can also consume birds. After striking, the snake releases venom through its hollow fangs, immobilizing and digesting the prey from within. It then swallows its meal whole, often retreating to a safe spot to digest. The Eastern Diamondback's venom is a complex cocktail of enzymes, proteins, and toxins designed to immobilize prey, begin digestion, and deter predators. The venom contains hemotoxins that destroy blood cells and tissue, leading to hemorrhage, swelling, and internal damage. The fangs of the Eastern Diamondback are long, retractable fangs that can replace multiple times throughout its life. And a single bite can inject up to 450 milligrams or so of venom with an average lethal dose to humans estimated to be around 100 to 150 milligrams. So thankfully, with modern anti-venoms and medical treatment, fatalities are rare from this species. Despite its fearsome reputation, the snake generally avoids confrontation with humans and will only bite as a last resort when it feels threatened or cornered. Its first line of defense is its rattle, which it shakes as a warning before striking. The Eastern Diamondbacks are ovoviviparous, meaning they give birth to live young rather than laying eggs, and mating occurs in the late summer to early fall, and the female can store the sperm until the following spring. The gestation period is around six months, and females give birth around six to 20 young, typically between August and October. These newborns are fully independent and equipped with venomous fangs from birth, but lack a functional rattle instead of having a small button at the end of the tails. Juvenile mortality rates are high due to predation by birds of prey, larger snakes, and even mammals like raccoons. Although the Eastern Diamondback is not currently listed as endangered, its populations are declining due to several factors. Habitat loss, the clearing of forests and scrubbing for agriculture and urban development has significantly reduced its natural habitat. Persecution, due to fear and misunderstanding, Eastern Diamondbacks are frequently killed by humans. This is worsened by rattlesnake roundups, where large numbers are captured and killed for sport, 
which has definitely changed over time and it's not the same as what it used to be but you know it's still centered around that climate change as well and alterations in habitat conditions rising temperatures and shifts in prey availability are beginning to impact snake populations and it's currently listed as a species of least concern by the IUCN but conservationists are pushing for more protective measures to prevent future declines. So the Eastern Nymag rattlesnake is misunderstood, yet a vital part of the ecosystem it inhabits. As a top predator, it helps regulate populations of small mammals, preventing overpopulation and promoting ecological balance. With proper respect and understanding, we can also coexist with this magnificent species while ensuring its survival for generations to come. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about wildlife around you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about wildlife around you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys.